Hello, my dear students. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. It's a pleasure to be here with you once again. And it is very, very nice to have the opportunity to see you again. So how is everything going? How was the day? Very good. It was very good. Too the, hard. <laughs> the day was very hot. Yes, indeed. The day was the day was very, very hot. Yes, that was like the bad part of the day. But for the rest, it was very nice, right? It was a very, very good day. Well, yes. so uh, we're going to start with- Very tired. You are very tired. Yes, I think everybody. <laughs> we are all very tired, but um, good thing that we're going to have our last class of the week today. Yes. And for sure, we have had a lot of learning. Hemos aprendido un montón juntos. And we're going to continue learning next week. Yes. So that is one of the best parts of all this. So it is a pleasure for me to see all your faces. Thank you for sharing your cameras. It is important to, uh, to see you because I can see you participating and I can see you practicing. Okay, today is our class number six. Right, no so ustedes, pero yo no he sentido la semana. And it has been very nice. <laughs> Just see it. Well, yes, it has been very fast and a lot of learning, my God, in, in, in all the in all the week. Well, remember, as I always mention the agreements of the class, practice your English, be polite, attend your classes, keep the cameras active, eh, advance in the educational platform and keep an active and cooperative activity in the WhatsApp group. Tell me, have you had any difficulties in the platform? No. no? Ya llegaron, no. Ya llegaron yes, a la, al avance de la segunda yes. sección. Tell me, what has been the problem? Yes. ¿Qué problemas han tenido? In the part 2.11, teacher. With the listening or with what? Yes, in the listening. Okay. okay, in the listening, what you have to do is to write the ending words. Only one word to finish the sentence. A mí me cuesta escuchar los audios que se presentan en inglés y ahí encontrarlos. No, okay. So we're, we're going to try to... In the, in the, in the exercise... In the exercise 4? Uh -huh, exercise 4. Uh -huh. En ese tengo problemas, todos los he resuelto prácticamente, solo ese no, he escuchado el audio mil veces, pero no, 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 no puedo cómo identificar la respuesta correcta. Ok, so we are going to check it in a moment uh, to see what's going on on that one. So if you can send me the image of the exercise on the chat, so maybe we can help you a little bit after class. Ok, Rocío, tell me. Yo tuve problemas en contestar la, la de que era yes or no question. Ajá. Porque no, no, las primeras dos respuestas no me las valida. Aunque yo creo que las estoy contestando bien. Porque aprobé en positivo y negativo. Con isn't, con don't. No me las agarro. No, no me las apruebo. The one that says, are you from the United States? Yes. So you have to say no, comma, I am not from the United States. Yes, así respondí. Uh -huh, but maybe maybe you are you are writing something at the end. Remember the period? We need to put the period at the end. Maybe that, that is the problem. That is like no, I am not from the United States. And the next one that says, like, is your teacher from Canada? I think. Uh, I, I would love to be from Canada, but I am not. So you say, no, my teacher is not from Canada. Or no, she isn't. She isn't from Canada. So in, the, in that case, we should, we should try. Maybe you can send me the image of how you are answering, Rocio, and maybe I can tell you where the problem is. 
eh, sí eh, le respondí no eh, negativo, pero no me las. Le voy a mandar una captura de pantalla. Ajá, uh -huh. I think that's the best that we can do. Mm -hmm. Send me the, the answers that you are writing because in that way I can see exactly where the problem is. Because today I was checking on one that the problem was that the person was writing he, but with I, like hi. And that was the main problem. So send me the, the image and we can actually analyze it better uh, on the moment, right? And we can, and I can give you an answer, an appropriate answer. Okay, any other question about the platform? And also with the listening, with the listening, I can I can see what I can do with to that. A mí me me costó mucho eso, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Lo de listen. Aha, lo de listening. But in that case, you have to write only the 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 last word that is missing. So that's the problem. That in some cases we want to write a, a lot of information, and it's just one or two words, the ones that are missing. So we can check it. But were you able to do it, Fatima? Did you finish it? ¿Lo pudiste terminar, Fatima? Yes, teacher. Okay, so now you see Fatima can also help us with the listening because she already finished it. Well, uh, so remember, mm -hmm. uh, send me the exercise, the specific exercise and I am going to be very glad to help you. Okay, Mr. Yes. Luis, Luis Monzón. Uh, what time he goes to bed at 10 p.m.? Okay, that's the only problem that Luis has. Okay, we're going to check it in a second, please, okay? Let me see. Let's go over uh, the class today. Maybe what we studied today is going to help you a little bit to answer your questions better. So we're going to go a little bit on a review from what we did yesterday. Yesterday we were talking about occupations and things, places of work and activities that we do when we work. So uh, this was one of the last exercises that we did. Do you remember that we were making the marks on the doctor, attends patients in a hospital, right? So now we are going to do it, but with our information. And I have here, three questions. And in this one, it says, what is your occupation? Where do you work? And what do you do? That it's a specific, specifically the activities that you develop. And in this case, I wrote an answer for a teacher. And it says, what is your occupation? I am a teacher. Where do you work? I work at home. And what do you do? I teach English. Okay. So that is the description of a teacher, right? Myself. Right now, I because of COVID and because of the pandemic, I work at home, but uh, normally I work at school, right? But I am a teacher, I work at home, I teach English. I need you to create your answer, okay? About your occupation, about the place where you work and about the activities that you do. Only one activity. If you tell me, for example, what is your occupation? I am a secretary, for example. Where do you work? I work in an office. What do you do? I help people, right? And that will be it. So I need you to create your answers. Three sentences about your occupation. And if you are just um, studying right now, you can say, I am a student, I study at home, and I study English. And for, but I think most of you work, right? So right sure, now- I have a question. Yes, How tell me. I'm a in English. Housewife. I am a housewife. I am going. I am going to write it right here. I am unemployed. You say I am a housewife. I am unemployed. Thank you, teacher. Wait, 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 wait. Unemployed. Unemployed. Well, but right now you are not an employee. You are an student. ¿Eh? Ahorita no es que no tengas empleo. Eres un estudiante. Soy estudiante, pero no tengo trabajo. No puedo contestar la dos. <laughs> no, yes, but you are a student. That's your job. Ese es trabajo también. Es tu trabajo en este momento. 
right? I am a student. Where do you no, work? No, <laughs> In my house, you say. And what do you do? I learn. <laughs> yeah, and, and it is one of the most difficult jobs to be a student and to be a housewife. The two of them are very difficult. Puede ser también housemaid, ama de casa. A housemaid, yes. I mentioned it yesterday. A housemaid, a housewife. It's okay. A housemaid. ¿Cómo se pronuncia la segunda palabra que escribió, teacher? Unemployed. Ah, okay. Unemployed, that means looking for a job. We are going to ask Ana Maria, what is your profession? Teacher. Yes. Unemployed is the meaning desempleado. Yes. Okay. Unemployed is desempleado. But when you are unemployed is when you have to do most, right? Let's see. Try to create your sentences and I am going to need five volunteers. When you finish, I need you to raise your hand on the platform and to share your answers. I need five volunteers because I know we are many, we are 26. So with five, I think it's good. I have the first one, Alicia Guadalupe. Go, go ahead. Okay. Uh... What's your occupation? My occupation is uh, I am preschool teacher. Right now, I am a housewife. Where okay. do you work? Uh, I work in my house. Okay. What do you do? Uh, I I clean the house uh -huh. and care my child. And my husband. Okay, you take care of your child and of your husband, of your two children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's what I say to my husband. I have two children. I, say, I have my baby and my husband. I have two children. <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a lot of work. Thank you, Alicia. So you are a preschool teacher. What? You are a preschool teacher. Yes. Oh, well, admirable. A lot of, a lot of respect for your occupation. Thank you very <laughs> Thank much. Thank you. Thank you. Yvette Ponce, go ahead. Okay, uh, good evening. Good evening. I am, I am a, a accountant. I work in Ministerio de Hacienda and I pay the public debt. <laughs> you pay the public, you check on the public debts. <laughs> Thank you very yes. much, Yvette. Okay. Very stressing job, very stressing job, the one that you have, an accountant. Congrats, thank you very much. Miss Catherine Alejandra. Hello everybody, my occupation, I have a two occupation. I am a student and I am a housewife. And I work in my house and I have a, a, a um, I have a, I forgot, what is, how do you say, algo, a set? No. I do. Uh, I do a lot of things, for, for example, I clean, I cook, and I learn everything. Uh, okay, you clean, you cook, and you learn. You see, as I mentioned yesterday, being a housewife is one of the most difficult jobs because you have yeah. to do a lot, right? Good, very good. Let's continue with Rose. I think your hand was up. Rosa Esmeralda. Uh, good evening. Hi. Uh, what is your occupation? How white? How is it? Uh, what are your work? Um, um, How is it? Um, 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 I study English or uh -huh. I learn English. Uh, what did you do? Um, I am cleaning my house. That's it. Okay, thank you very, very, very much. 
So it says like, what is your occupation? Remember when you give it and to be very clear and to the point you say, I am a teacher, I am a housewife, I am an accountant, I am a lawyer, right? You say, I am a, and then you give the occupation, right? What, where do you work? I work in an office, I work at home, I work at school, right? And what do you do? I clean, I organize, I cook, and I study, I learn, etc., etc., etc. So I know there are many other nice occupations. Let's see, Mr. Erasmo, what is your occupation? Good evening, teacher. Hi. Uh, my, my occupation is an um, engineer agronomo. Oh, it's, you are an agronomer. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, uh, I work in the Ministry of Agriculture and Ganadería. Um, uh, lo que hago, uh, what do you do is, is um, uh, asistencia técnica en la producción de frutas y hortalizas. So it is technical assistant, technical, technical, assist technical assistance. Okay, listo. Okay, technical assistance for fruits and vegetables production. Hey, what an interesting job. How nice. <laughs> Very yeah. nice. Rosa Maria, what is your occupation? Good evening. My occupation is, is study. A student. A student. I am studying the university. Uh, uh, where do you work? Uh, I study in the Universidad del Salvador. Uh -huh. uh, what do you do? I learn English. Okay, I learn. I learn. Yeah. Good. Very good job. Thank you very much. And we're going to go with the next topic. Thank you, everybody, for participating. And it is pretty awesome to hear all the activities that you do in your job. Very nice. So I have here a short conversation that confirms what we were studying yesterday. And it is the same as I have been asking you. Where do you work, right? In this case, where do you work, Andrea? And she says, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting, they say. Yeah, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I'm a student. I have, and I have a part-time job too, right? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Okay, that's the name of the restaurant. So in the case of Andrea, what does she do? What is her occupation? What is Andrea's occupation? She's a, she's a guide. She's a guide. She's a guide. She's a tour guide, right? Very good. Let's see. Where does she work? I work at Thomas, Thomas, Cook Thomas Cook Travel. She works at Thomas Cook Travel, right? Where is the place where she works? And what does she do? Take a, she take a people. Uh, she take people, take people on tours country in South America. America like she takes people on tours in countries in South America, like Peru. And what about Jason? What is Jason's occupation? Student. He's a 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 student. Very good job. And he has a part-time job. But what is his part-time job? Medio tiempo. Medio tiempo. Yeah, no, but, but what I mean, what, what is, aha, at a fast food restaurant. He works at a restaurant. If I say, for example, what is, what is his part-time job? And then you say, 
Uh, he works in a fast food restaurant. Yeah. Let's see. And what is the name of the Hamburg. restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Very good. He works in Hamburger Heaven. Hamburg. Okay. So. Now, all. ¿Qué the... significa la última palabra? Disculpe. Heaven. Uh -huh. El cielo de las hamburguesas. That's the name of the restaurant. Hamburger <laughs> Heaven. <Okay. laughs> Hamburger heaven. Oh. Okay, and let me see. All the boys in the class, all the boys, all the men are going to be Jason. And all the ladies are Andrea. Okay? Okay. 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 So, boys, you are going to start. One, two, and three. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm I'm a guy. Guy. I, I take, take people, people on tours, on tours to, to countries, countries in South, South America, America. Like, like Peru. Peru. Like Peru. Oh, interesting. <laughs> yes, yes, it is a great, great job. job. I, I love, love it. it. And, and what do you do? do? I'm a student and I have a part time job too. Oh, where, where do you work? work? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which, Which restaurant? restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. Good. Very good job. Now we are going to do it in the country. Ladies, we have to be a very strong Jason, okay? okay? We have to be a very strong Jason because the ladies, when we talk, it's like, hi, where do you work? <laughs> we have this very <laughs> soft voice. But Jason is not going to talk like that, right? Where do you work, Andrea? We're going to be a very strong Jason. And the boys, they have to be a very lovely Andrea, okay? <laughs> so, ladies, <clears throat> we're going to be Jason, okay, ladies? One, two, okay. and three. Where do, where, do you work? Work? where do you work, Andrea? Where do you work, Andrea? I, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a guy. I am a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America like Peru. To countries South America like Peru. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Yes, it's yes, a great job. It is a great job. I, I love, love it. it. And what do you do? What do you do? I am a student. I, am a I, I have a part-time part job. job. Oh, where do you work? Oh. Where do you where work? Do you work? Yeah. In a fast food In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Which restaurant? Hamburger. Great job. Very good job. <laughs> you know, I, I really love I really love when the students just get into the boat and they just go crazy with me. And that's fantastic. So like, where do you work, Andrea? <laughs> the Jason's there. That was very good. And all the Andreas at Thomas Cook Travel. <laughs> that was very nice. You see, that's for you to release the stress, right? It's like, nah, I, I don't feel stressed anymore, right? I feel relaxed in the English class. Well. So just to clarify a little bit, I know, and I am sure that you have studied this before, right? Maybe you studied this in the beginner level, right? Maybe you studied this, that it's uh, the third person singular rules. This is not for the plurals, okay? This is not for the plurals. This is for the verbs. When you talk about he, she, or it in the third person. Okay, so when you change it, for example, when you say, um, what does Andrea do? She works at Thomas Cook Travel, right? And you say works because you are talking about a third person. So in general, what you do with these changes, you add the letter S to the verb for he, she, and it only, okay? And in the affirmative forms, because in the negatives and the questions, you don't change anything. Because in the negatives, you say she doesn't work. If you use the auxiliary doesn't, then you don't change the verb. 
in the questions, as you say, does she work? You don't change the verb, okay? So this is very important for you to remember it, that this is just for affirmative sentences, for he, she, and it, okay? This is very important. And general changes that you do, you add an S to the verb, okay? That is like one of the basic things. A, the verbs that end in Y, you have to add IES. The verbs that end in O, SH, TCH, X or X, SS, you add ES. Okay, like go, goes. Quash, washes. Watch, watches. Mix, mixes. Kiss, kisses. Study, studies. Cry, cries. Try, tries. Spy, spies. Fly, flies. For example, what is the occupation? Uh, maybe he's a pilot, right? What does he do? He flies airplanes, right? So that will be what he does in his job. And in the last one, the general thing, you only add an S to the verb, okay? So this is just a quick reminder, okay? If you want to take a screenshot for you to keep the rules, it's perfect. You can do it or remember that we can check on the conversation in, this, in the class later on in the YouTube channel, okay? Teacher. Yes. Eh, yo tengo una duda, solo, bueno, más bien quiero que me quede claro, uh -huh. perdón que lo, lo diga así en español, pero sí no, quiero que okay. me quede claro, es eh, que el, se va a utilizar esta regla cuando sean oraciones, eh, cuando sean afirmaciones. Yes. <clears throat> sí. Ah, oh, yeah, affirmative sentences only. I am uh -huh. going to give you some uh -huh. examples, okay. Uh, déjenme crear aquí un ratito una cosita rápida just to give you some examples. Okay, so in this case, if you want, for example, I am going to write it right here. If you are going to talk about the occupation of a doctor, let's talk about the occupation of a doctor. So you say, he is a doctor, right? He is yes. a doctor. Give me activities that a doctor does. Como si se cura en inglés. Check the person. Uh -huh. Okay, he heals, he heals patients, he checks people, he checks, yeah, yeah. he helps people, he checks, he checks people, he examines patients, he helps people, he, okay, uh, he examines patients, he vacuums and COVID, a doctor. He what? He he fights COVID. <laughs> okay, we're going to say he fights COVID. He fights COVID. He, 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 he prescribes yeah. medicine. He prescribes medicine. So in this case, as a, okay. okay, he prescribes medicine. Uh, okay, so as you can see here, you have the sentences and the activities in present affirmative form, right? But if we change these activities into uh, negative sentences, it is going to be different because we are going to say he does not uh, teach classes, for example. And as you can see here, if you have the auxiliary does or doesn't in the contractive form, the verb is normal, okay? He doesn't teach classes. What is another thing that the doctor doesn't do? He doesn't, he doesn't clean the hospital. Okay. Maybe because there is another person in charge of that one. Uh, he, he doesn't fix the car. He doesn't fix cars, right? He doesn't fix cars. So uh, this is important. Can you see the difference when you use the auxiliary? You don't uh, change the verb, right? Because the auxiliary okay. takes the part of the third person. And if you make a question, remember that you take the auxiliary at the beginning. And you say, does, does uh, the doctor fix? cars does the doctor fix cars 
No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Right? He no, does. He oh, doesn't. Oh, we never know right now with all these different jobs. <laughs> Maybe doctor in the day, mechanic at night. So <laughs> he doesn't fix cars. Does he fix cars? No, he doesn't. So the changes happened only in the affirmative form. Okay, so that is very, very crucial. And only for he, she, and it. Because for the other subjects, it doesn't affect anything. Because if you are talking about what? If you are talking about uh, we, imagine that you are talking about us, right? If you are talking about we as a students, what do we do in the classes? We listen to the teacher. We listen to the teacher. Uh, what else? We participate. What else do you do in classes? We take notes. Right? So we these are the things that we do. We? We like the homework. Pay attention. We pay attention. We do homework, right? That's very good. We pay attention to the class. We don't write. Uh, but you, you should write a lot. <laughs> All these examples you should be writing as well. Todos estos ejemplos ya los hubieran anotado. No, ya los anotaron. I know, I know. You have them in your notebook already. A screenshot. <laughs> <laughs> we pay attention and we do homework, right? We do homework. And for the negative forms of these ones, we don't say we don't distract. We don't distract during class. I am sure that you don't do it. And we do not uh, listen to music in class because it's too short. We do not listen uh, music. to music. We do not listen to music. And this is the form that we do. So it is good that you remember that the verb changes happens only in affirmative for he, for she, and for it. Okay? okay. So uh, did I answer your question? Yes. My dear Thanks. Claudia, yes? Yes, yes. Very good. You see, la duda de uno puede ser también la de todos. And it's very, it's very useful. So you don't make, uh, you don't make uh, any mistakes later on when you create sentences. So when we come back here, I am going to, okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. We can just, uh, you can take a screenshot there because I am going to erase it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> hey, come on, don't be in the other people's conversations. <laughs> and all of you were like paying attention, like, what, what did you keep? Huh? <laughs> que guardo? Huh? Come on. So let's go back to the class. So remember, this is when we use the different changes that I have right here. So for this one, I have a little exercise here because Jaime is saying that we don't write, we are going to write. It says, I cook, I teach, I clean, they organize, we attend, they help, I coordinate, I write, and they use. What is the third form of these verbs? What is the third person's form of these verbs? She cooks. She cooks. She, she teach. No. She cleans. Uh -huh. she, she cleans. She, she cooks. She teach. Cook. How do you transform teach? teach. Teaches. 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 Uh -huh. How do you transform clean? Clean. She cleanses. Cleanses. She cleanses and it's not the candies, right? Yeah. Organize. Organize. She organizes. organizes. Yeah. Attend. 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 She attends. Yes. Only with S. Helps. 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 Coordinate. Coordinates. Coordinates. Right. 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 right and use right. uses. uses uses right uses 
right? In this case, you're going to say she. She cooks, she teaches, he cleans, he organizes. We, uh, in this case, it's she attends, he helps, he coordinates, he writes, and he uses, okay? So that is just for you to keep an idea, for you to remember the different transformations of the verbs, okay? So here I have uh, the questions that we're going to use for uh, these forms when you talk about occupations. Uh, what do you do? I am a student, I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work in a restaurant. Where is for the place? Okay, like at the beginning of the class. Como las preguntas que les hice al principio de clase. What do you do? Where do you work? Where do you go to school? And then you have to give a specific information. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Like what, uh, what you were mentioning, Rosa Maria, I think it was, that she, that she said that she's a student, but where do you go to school? I go to National University. Okay, University. specifically. Where does Andrea work from the conversation? Do you remember? She works at the Thomas Cook Travel. She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guy. She takes people on tours. She takes people on tours. And how does she like it? She loves it. She loves it. When you say, how does she like it? It's like, what do you think of your job? What is your idea of your job? If you ask me, for example, yeah, she, she goes to Peru, she goes to different countries, for sure that she loves it, <laughs> right? ¿Quién, ¿Quién se enoja de andar de viaje? I think nobody, <laughs> right? So that's a perfect job. If you ask me if I like teaching, I will say, I love it. I love it. I really love being a teacher. And I have been a teacher for 18 years and I still love it. Oh. Yes. And I, I really love teaching and I am very young. Also. Don't think that I am very old. Yeah. super big. <laughs> Thank you very much. I do. I do my best because I have the best students. What else can I do? I mean, the best for the best. And uh, mm -hmm. if I ask you, for example, how do you like your job? If you do your job, it's because you like it. It's because you love it, right? I mm. know that uh, Erasmo, that he's an agronomist, he's an agronomer. I think he loves what he does. Yes or no, Mr. Erasmo? Do you like your job? <laughs> Mr. Erasmo, your microphone. Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> Do you like your job? Um, yes, he likes. So you can say, I love it. I like it. <laughs> I like it, you say. Okay. Well, okay. So, and that is the idea, right? That you have to do something that you really love. And remember, the use of do in the questions is for I, you, we, and they. And the use of does in the questions is for he, for she, and for it. Okay? So in this case, as you can see here, what do you do? Right? Because you have you, you have do. Where do you work? Right? Where do you work? Where do you go to school? And if you are talking about another person, in this case, Andrea, where does Andrea work, right? Does, because you are talking about she. Okay, that's something that you have to keep in mind. I think this is part of one exam in the platform, okay? Creo que esto es un, una parte de un examen de la plataforma. So uh, the difference, right? To use do or does, yes. it is very crucial. And I have the exercise right here. Chan, 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 there you go. Rosa Maria, tell me. Eh, sí, teacher, con la diapositiva anterior, eh, a mí no me queda muy claro qué significa la última pregunta ya traducido al español. How does she like it? It is like when you ask a person, like, ¿qué te gusta tu trabajo? ¿Cómo te gusta tu trabajo? Ah, me encanta, me fascina. Ah, ok. okay. And in some cases you might say, ah, me, me, me. 
Yeah, it's good, you say. It's a job, right? Gracias a Dios tenemos trabajo, right? It's a job. How does she like it? It's like, ¿te gusta? ¿Te gusta lo que hace? ¿O le gusta lo que hace? Yes, she loves it. That's, that's the meaning. In some cases, we try to translate everything exactly as it is. Because if we do it like that, it's like, ¿cómo gusta ella? ¿Le gusta? No, right, it will be illogical. Like, eh, ¿cómo te gusta tu trabajo? O, ¿te gusta lo que haces? ¿Te gusta tu trabajo? That will be the best uh, translation for that one. So, let's do this little exercise that we have right here. And um, we're going to go little by little. Pay attention to the parts of the sentence that we have. Okay, pay attention to the parts of the sentences. And I need you please to complete the exercise with the missing words. I am going to give you some minutes for you to analyze and complete by yourself. And then I am going to complete it for you. Okay? So it says, uh, it says here, what do you do? I am a full-time student. I study the violin. And hmm, do you Hmm. What, do school? You, what do you what do? You do? The school. What do you don't, do? don't give me the answers right now. Ah, I sorry. am already. <laughs> I'm it's sorry. like, I mm, to the New York School of Music. Wow. Mm, you like your classes? I mm, them a lot. What? Mm, Tanya do. She's a teacher. She mm, an art class at, at a school in Denver. And what about Ryan? Where? Mm, he worked he mm, for a big computer company in San Francisco mm -hmm. mm, does he do exactly he's a website designer he mm, fantastic websites okay so try to give the answers okay try to give the answers to number one two three four five six seven eight nine ten exercises I am going to give you some minutes for you to work okay no copien todo el ejercicio, solo dejen como los 10 espacios y pongan las palabras que ustedes creen que faltan en el párrafo, ¿ok? I'm going to give you some minutes for you to do it. And then I am going to help you. ¿Ok? Ok, commercials. Okay. Try try to complete it. Try to complete it and then we're going to check. I gave you the first one. Study. Because here you have a place, New York School of oh, Music. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So if I say here, and where do you go to school? You say I. I go. Uh -huh, I go. Uh-huh, because you have where do you go? I. I go. I go. I go, I go to the... I go to the New York School of Music. Wow. Yes. How do you like? Exactly. Very good. How do you like, right? It was the sentence that we started some minutes ago. I love things a lot. Exactly. Hey, my God, you are like three kilometers ahead of me. So you say, I love them a lot. OK, we have number one already. What, what, does, does, what does Tanya do? What does Tanya do? Very good job. What does What does Tanya do? She's a teacher. She, if she's a teacher, she? She teaches. She teaches. She teaches, right? Because it's the verb. She teaches an art class at school in Denver. And what about Ryan? Where does he work? 
Where does he work? Very good. Where does he work? And if we have here, where does he work? So you're going works. to say he works. works. He works. Works. Fantastic. He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. And what does he? What uh, does? What does? We give you the answer. <laughs> and, what does he do? Ah, uh, that was very easy. What Come on. He? And what does he do exactly? He is a website website designer. designer. So he he has he has. What does the designer do? The designer. Ah, he designs. Designs, right? Design. The designer designs. What does the teacher do? Teaches. He designs. What? Okay. He designs. Designs. Uh, he designs. Fantastic. Fantastic websites, right? So he designs fantastic websites. Very, very good job. He designs fantastic websites. Great job. So you did a fantastic job here. Very good. Okay, so tell me, Oscar Guardado, we're going to do the first conversation together. What do you do? I am a full-time student. I study the violin. And where do you go to school? I go to the New York School of Music. Uh, wow, do you, how do you like your classes? I love them a lot. I love them a lot. Excellent job. Very good. Sandra Maritza, can you help me with number two? What does Tania do? What does Tania do? She's a teacher. She what teaches does? an art class at school in Denver. Um, what about train? Where does he work? He works for a big computer company in San Francisco. What does he do exactly? He's a website designer. He designs fantastic websites. Let's see. We are going to go with Mr. Ciro. Hey, I haven't listened to your voice today. What's happening? <laughs> okay. What do you do? I'm a full-time student. I'm a student the violin. And where do you go to school? I go to the New York School of the Music. Wow, how do you like your classes? I love them a lot. Very nice job. Now I am going to have Mr. Luis Monzon and Tania Karina. Mm, pardon, teacher, number one. Number, number one, two, three. number two. Uh, Luis Monzon, zero. you are going to start. And Tania, are you ready? What does Tania do? She is teacher. She teach an art class uh, at the school in Denver. And what about Ryan? Where does he work? He works uh, for a big computer company in San Francisco. What does he do exactly? He is a website the singer he designed fantastic website. Excellent job. He designs, right? He's a website designer and he designs fantastic websites. Very good job, students. Very nice. Great. I get very happy when your students improve their pronunciation. That's pretty awesome. Let's continue here. I am going to go on this one. Let me just... I'm going to erase this one and I am going to go with the next one. Okay. Let me just erase here and I'm going to keep sharing this one for you. Okay, give me a second. I am going to reshare my screen. Okay, let's go with the next one. And here it is. Can you see my screen again? Yes. We're going to review a little bit on the prepositions at, in, on. 
Right, I know that you have studied this before as well. Creo que fue uno de los primeros temas que estudiaron en inglés. At, in, on. And what is the use of these ones? At, you use it for a precise times. At 8.30, at 8 o'clock, at bedtime, at breakfast, right? You use it for a specific moments of the day. In, you use it for months, years, decades, centuries and long periods of time in 16 years in 1999 in 1991 in december right and on you use it for days and days and you say on summer on christmas on christmas day on friday okay you can say in the morning in the afternoon in the evening but you say at night okay don't say in night, right? It's at night. That is the first thing that you need to keep in mind, right? Where do you have your class? I have my class at night, you say. Don't say in night or you say in the evening. You can also use it. Is it clear this, the use of at, in, on? Yes, sir. At, in, in, at, night. Okay, ¿Está, ¿está clara la división de en qué momento usamos cada uno? Yes, it's clear. Yes, teacher. Yes, it's clear. Okay, so uh, here in the exercise we have it like this. You can also use other expressions like around. What time do you go to bed? Ah, around 11. You say alrededor, around 11, alrededor de las 11, right? Around 11. I leave work early. Salgo del trabajo temprano. I get home late because of the traffic, right? I stay up until midnight. Me quedo levantado hasta la medianoche. I wake up before or after noon. Do you know what's the meaning of noon? Do you know what is the meaning of noon? Noon. No. Noon. Oh. Mediodía, right? I wake up before or after noon. And here is what I was explaining, right? In the morning, yeah. in the evening, in the afternoon, at night, right? At night. On Saturday, on Sunday. On weekdays, on weeknights, on weekends, on Fridays. Right? The use of at, in, on. And the use of around, right? Alrededor de la diez, early, temprano, late, tarde, until, hasta. Until, until, hasta. And this is very, very crucial to make the difference between before and after. Many students confuse this, that they say, no, teacher, it's, it's after the morning. No, it's before, before the morning, right? I wake up before six. Antes, before, antes, after, later. Okay, practice with me. Before, antes. Antes. Before, antes. Before. After, después. Después. After, después. Okay, before, antes. 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 After, después. después. Okay, keep it in mind because if not, you are going to get confused. So, here, I think I have the next part of this. And I have this little exercise that it's completed. And it says, I get up at six, at six in, in the, the morning, morning on, weekdays. on weekdays. What is sentence number two? I go, go to, to bed, bed at midnight, 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 I start work at 11.30 at night. Number four. I have, I have, have lunch at, at three, three in, in the afternoon, afternoon of Friday. Friday. Three in the afternoon, Friday. I stay up. I, I stay, stay up at, at, at 1 a.m. Yeah. on weekends. Weekend. On weekends, right? On Saturdays. That is the most common. Number six. 
I sleep on Sunday. On Sunday. Good. I was busy on. I will sleep until noon on Sundays. What, yeah. what is the correct pronunciation for until? On what? Okay. The correct pronunciation is until. 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 Okay. It's not, it's not until, okay? It's with O, say until. Until, until, no. until noon. On Sunday. Okay, now, check the examples that you have there, okay? The sentences that you have there. And I need you to give me one example about your life using at, in, or on. Give me an example of the time that you wake up or the time that you go to bed or any specific activity that you do in a specific time of the day. So any type of example, but I need you to create one. One example with at, in, or on. Okay. For example, I clean my house in the morning. I clean the house in the morning. Very good job. I can get up at four in the morning on weekdays. Excellent job. I go to bed at um, 10 p.m. I on go the weekend night. Okay, I go to bed at 10 p.m. As soon as you finish the class, bye bye, students, and yes. <laughs> <laughs> fall asleep. Cool, very nice. I know that example. I cook my dinner at 6 p.m. I cook my dinner at 6 p.m. Very good job. Another example. I take my lunch at 1 p.m. I take my lunch at 1 p.m. Excellent. Another one. Another example. I go to college before my English class. <laughs> Okay, thank you, William. Very good. The next one. I breakfast at eight a.m. Okay, I eat breakfast, right? I eat breakfast because if you say I breakfast, it's like yo desayuno, but I eat breakfast. In English, you have to add the verb. Go ahead. The next one. I drink coffee at eight on the evening. I drink coffee at eight in the evening. Good, very good. Another I one. Start, we start first. class at nine. We start oh. class at nine. Very at nine. good. I go to the park on the Saturday. I go to the park on Saturdays. Ana Maria. I have class at uh, 9 p.m. I have class at 9 p.m. Very good job. <coughs> Another one. I I study study. Oh. Okay, <laughs> I study and I okay. go to church. Go ahead, the church. I go to eat after the finish class. You go to eat after you finish class. Oh my God. Yeah, me too. <laughs> go, to, go to bed. Go to I bed. Go to, ah, I go to go bed. To bed. <laughs> I go to four. eat. I, <laughs> I go to eat. I, to eat. Four at, I uh, stay up seven at 11 p.m. PM on weekends. I stay up at 11 and I go to church at 7 a.m. on weekends. Very nice job. Well, chun, chun, chun. All the sentences were very nice. And as we are just about to finish the class, I am going to go with my friend, the homework. Chun, chun, chun. We are going to have homework for the next week. We are going to investigate about demonstratives for the next class. Okay, demonstrative, okay, <laughs> I made a mistake. Demonstratives, okay, that's the way it is. Demonstratives. But how are you going to do the homework? The idea of the homework is not that you're going to, to bring me the notebook to my house, right? That would be perfect, but no. I need you please to take notes on your notebook and I need you to do some research, some investigation and to send information in the WhatsApp group, okay? But the information you have to send it on Monday, okay? So you have Friday, Saturday, Sunday to investigate, read and everything. 
And if you find an image, if you find information, if you find something that you consider important about the homework, I need you to send it on the chat, okay? Okay. Even if it is repeated or if you send the same, the same image, it will be like, hey, we have the same image. It's okay. The idea is that you collaborate, okay? If you want to do it tomorrow or on the weekend, it's perfect. But I want to give you a little bit of vacation, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so you can send the homework on Monday. Remember to continue practicing on the platform, continue advancing, because the idea is that you advance more than me, right? I am teaching you the different topics, but the idea is that you advance more and more every day, okay? Remember, if you have any question, send me a message with the screenshot. Yeah. The ones that need help, please send the image and I am going to do my best uh -huh. to help you, okay? Thank you. Okay, so thank you. it was a pleasure for me. I am going to see you in the next class. I am not going to see you tomorrow. I am going to see you on Monday. Have a great night. Very well. Nice. Have a beautiful nice. weekend and continue bye bye. practicing, okay? Thank you. Bye bye, kids. Thank you. Continue bye -bye. practicing. Bye. See you in the next class. Have a beautiful night. Uh, in the case of uh, the ones who need help, send me the images, please, and I am going to help you. Take care. Okay. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a beautiful night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.